welcome 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 please as you are coming share i'm trying to share man welcome how are we doing how are we all doing can you hear me can you hear me very well how are we all doing if you can hear me say something how are we all doing nobody's writing anything Okay, Cheesy, Cheesy say yes. Cheesy, you are welcome. Cheesy, how are you doing? It's been a long time. So today, I won't waste time. I'll just go straight to this topic. But before I continue, I need to ask some, answer some questions because I got a lot of questions in the previous videos that I have made. But before we continue, I would like to answer some questions people ask me. So, um, some of you sent me a message on Messenger. Somebody said, Ma, I saw my period this day. When, I, when is my ovulation? I have been saying this. I don't know how to explain it. Some people say, Ma, I need, I need your help. I want you to help me. The only help that I can render to you is exactly what I'm doing here, making videos. It is your own duty to go and watch the video. I cannot make the video and also force you to watch it. Somebody said, I, uh, my menstruation started today. When is, when is my ovulation? I don't know. That is why I have made video on how to calculate your circle. If you can be able to know how to calculate your uh, circle ovulation, how to calculate ovulation will not be difficult for you. If you can use opk ovulation prediction kits you don't even need anybody sometimes i may tell you for example if you have 28 day circle i may tell you that you are going to ovulate on the circle day uh, 14th but on that 14th ovulation will not take place but you you you, you yourself will be the first person will be the will be at the uh, best position to to know when you are going to ovulate if you use opk i have been saying it um most of the people who get pregnant during my teaching they are not life like this they only take their time watch the videos and do what they learned if there is anything they don't understand they write for clarification and i will clarify them and they do it it works for them so if you are always live or maybe you are watching my videos like uh, Nigeria movies, maybe you will not understand anything. But trust me, if you are writing me that you need help, the only help, the best help that I can give is exactly what I am doing right now. It is your own duty to watch. So you are welcome to this wonderful platform. This is Totish's um, channel, both on Facebook and YouTube. And the essence or the purpose of this page is to help women who are struggling to conceive. When I mean struggling, who are finding it difficult to conceive due to the ignorance, will teach them how to calculate their ovulation so that they will be able to conceive and also to educate women about how they can maintain their body so that when you get pregnant or when you want to conceive a baby, it will not be difficult for you. This is the essence of this page. If you think you like what I do here, please, as you are joining us, if it is your first time, please follow the page. Go and subscribe to Toti's channel on YouTube. That YouTube is very easy. It's in YouTube that you will find all these videos very easy. You can watch all of them. In Facebook, I place them maybe after 30 days, the Facebook should delete it, but in YouTube is there. So if you want to watch how to calculate circle, it's very, very important. In case if it is your first time of joining me, please go to, if you can see it on Facebook, go to YouTube on Toti's channel. So follow this page, recommend this page as to many people that you can. 
we are not growing we are still at six or seven thousand this page is from almost a year do you want to tell me that it's only six thousand women that are struggling to conceive please recommend this uh, page to your friend or anybody that you know that is struggling to conceive let them come and learn and try their best then they will leave the rest to god so um and um from the question i'm getting i am just all my teaching is just recycling about i am not moving forward i've been talking only of ovulation 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 mm -hmm. it seems that ovulation is what is confusing people and um is the problem that a lot of people have if you watch me for the past two months i've not been going forward it's only recycling on ovulation how to calculate and yet people do not understand but no problem because ov ovulation is the is the bedrock of conception if you are not ovulating nothing like conception like somebody there was a, a, there was somebody who wrote me um she said five or seven years she had been trying and uh, when she watched the video she noticed or according to my teaching she used opk i don't know if you are here if you are here don't say you are the one just listen to what i'm saying you use opk and uh, it's showing you negative so what you should do in any situation that warrant that makes you that you are not ovulating is a very serious situation if you are not ovulating you can never be pregnant please if you are having series of miscarriages that is if you take in and you, you, you miscarriage the baby you need a test go for a hormonal test or thorough test it could be infection infection can make you to have miscarriages low progesterone can make you because as soon as you become pregnant your body will release what is called hcg which will produce progesterone that will support you throughout that nine months but if the progesterone level is low it can lead to miscarriage if you have infection it can also lead to miscarriage so if you have been having miscarriages please go to your gynecologist or your healthcare provider let them check why you are having miscarriages so um now today we are going to be talking about signs because this is the problem that most of the women have we don't pay attention to our body we don't know when something is going despite the fact that anything that happens to you your body signals you but if you are not attentive you will think it's something that is normal some of the things that happens to us is not normal so we are going to be talking about signs that you will see which will enable you to know you are fertile for pregnancy number one is that cervical mucus if you are a woman and you are not seeing that cervical mucus all is not well it's just a sign of showing you that you are not ovulating i have showed you what cervical mucus look like when you are approaching your fertile days when you are approaching your fertile days let's say your menstruation finishes then you enter your free days within these days three days you you are you are not fertile your body is not fertile and um, conception cannot take place within this period but as soon as you enter your fertile days fertile days means that your body is prepared your body is ready to to conceive a baby what does it mean within these fertile days not ovulation day ovulation day is the most fertile days so within these uh, days if you make love your your husband's sperm can last up to five days in your body so when you enter your fertile days if you make love during this period without making love on your ovulation day you can still be pregnant you can be pregnant not even still you can be pregnant why because you are in your fertile days and the sperm is already there the sperm will be there waiting for that egg to be released immediately the egg is released the sperm will fertilize it so the reason why um, sometimes doctors tells you um to calculate your ovulation or to monitor is for you to know whether you are ovulating at all and ovulation is the highest the ovulation means simply 
to a man uh, to a layman's level i try if you watch all my videos i try as much as i can not to use a uh, medical terminology so that even a, a village woman who is not educated if you are watching me you can understand my english you can understand what i'm saying except if you don't want to understand so i try very well to bring it down to the lowest level so that everybody will understand so the sperm can stay there and be waiting for the egg so when ovulation takes place now the egg cannot move it's inactive the egg, the egg will, once the egg is removed is released ovulation is the release of a matured egg from your ovary now if the egg is released that is your ovulation the sperm which is already there waiting just like you know lion lion when lion want to swallow something the lion will be ready maybe the thing or the human being or the animal that the lion want to swallow you are not seeing the lion but the lion have already uh, positioned himself in order to catch that is how the egg and the sperm does sperm is already there waiting for the egg immediately the egg drop the sperm will grab it and fertilize it then you are pregnant i'm saying this because of some of you who always wait on the ovulation day the other day i was very very angry people are asking me my, my marriage is about to crash i don't have a match I, I brought out my time despite the fact that i was weak i said okay let me share with you some tips that you can that can help you to conceive a male child only for me to come here i was disappointed so i cancelled the video so except if you are looking for a particular gender if you are looking for a particular gender this is now when you will be you know delaying waiting to make love on the ovulation day but if you just want to have a baby and you are above you are above you are up to 35 years please start start making love on your fertile days fertile days start five days period to your ovulation day if if i said anything that is not clear please call my attention i love everybody here i love everybody you guys you just take me like your sister when i'm angry my anger doesn't last that is me i may be angry i'll be doing like this but as soon as i speak it over i just forget about it but if i don't say it i will be i'll be carrying it in my mind and it will be hurting me so if i speak to you in a way you don't like sorry i am your sister you are my sister we are helping each other none of you forced me to open this page it's god that asked me to open and a lot of women i think you guys saw the last the last resort yes i posted the woman said she had been trying for if i'm not exaggerating is it 15 years 15 years and her problem was just ovulation and she watched the video she did what she was told and today she's happily pregnant so just take your time even if you can join me in life after life cool down watch as you're watching jot with pens that is how i read if i'm reading i read with pens with my paper and pen anything i see that is very very important i'll just jot it down even the ones that i don't know i just jot them down later i will go and make research about them so watch the video if you are confused if you are a ttc mother that is trying to conceive mother and you are confused on your circle and your ovulation that is where your problem starts because you don't know whether you are ovulating if you don't know whether you are ovulating or not there's nothing like conception these people that are asking me my, my period is today how one is my ovulation my dear sister if when I tell them I don't know, they think that maybe I don't want to answer their question. Of course, I don't know. I be I don't know your circle. If you if you if you ask me, for example, now my circle is twenty is is uh, twenty one days, twenty eight days, thirty five days, twenty nine days. When is my ovulation? You make it easy for me. I can tell you, you are likely going to ovulate on so 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 day. But if you just tell me that your menstruation started today, I beg you guys should help me answer this question. How would I know? I don't know your circle. So you need to go and learn how to calculate circle. Check it on YouTube channel. My channel is Tochis. I think if somebody can somebody write Tochis channel on YouTube, just go there. 
or you can watch it in youtube how to uh, calculate circle many people have done video about it even in facebook so if you learn how to calculate your circle then you will know how many circle days you have from there you are moving forward from there now you'll be checking yourself checking all these signs that you can watch signs of ovulation when you check your circle you can watch the video there is a there is a very detailed video i made about how to calculate ovulation go and watch it you'll be watching those um, symptoms to see if you are seeing it if you are not seeing it then you know that there is problem then you start seeking for medical help well the problem starts when you don't know whether you are ovulating or not that is the and you know if you don't know whether you are ovulating every month you'll be trying every month you'll be hoping that something will enter but you are not ovulating of course something will not enter but if you identify your problem you go for a test they will fix it any problem related to ovulation they can fix it if it is thyroid problem they can give you a medication for thyroid either hypo or hyper your thyroid gland will be balanced then you start ovulating if it's hyperprolactin they can control it you start ovulating if it's uh, estrogen if it is uh, progesterone all these things are very very easy to attend to so please try as if you are following me except if it, today is your first time if you are following me up to this moment you don't know how to calculate your cycle my dear sister I don't think you are following me. You are just watching me. You are not following me. People who follow me by now should know how to calculate their circle and their ovulation. And then if there is any other problem, if you are following me, you don't know how to calculate your circle. You don't know how to calculate ovulation. You have not done your hormonal test. You are not following me. You only watch me. So please do the right thing. I am doing my own. I'm trying despite even, even if I'm sick, I still bring that time. I feel that people need my attention. I bring out my time to teach you. So you should also take your time to learn so that your problem will be solved. So I said the signs to know when you are fertile to conceive. Immediately your, your pro, the journey of conception starts, immediately your menstruation starts. Any circle you started, that is the period of conception now after your menstruation which may last four to five days in some people three days but if your period lasts for a day is not good if it lasts for two days is there's no problem if your period lasts for a day is is it's not a good sign so once your period finish you enter what is called safe period this safe period simply means that your body is not fertile you cannot get pregnant within these three days then after the three days you start approaching your fertile days and as you are approaching your fertile days please if you want to support me there is a video i deleted i'm going to edit it and re-upload it again I, I don't know what i talked about in that video the video i played a music that I used to dedicate to my father and uh, YouTube uh, said they, it, it has a copyright something something so I need to delete it I don't want all those nonsense so but I will I will download it again from my YouTube and cut out the place I was playing the music then I will re-upload it then I will check the title because some of you might be looking for it and the sad part of it is that in that video Somebody gave me star, I think about how many stars, but I need to delete it because I don't like any this thing on my page. So as your body is approaching um, fertile days, there are some signs you will see. Pay attention to your body. You own your body. Pay attention. So the first thing you will start seeing when you are about to approach your fertile days the first thing you will start seeing is what is called cervical mucus, and I told you guys that cervical mucus have two important role it plays in your fertility. The number one is to show you that you are approaching your fertile days and ovulation. The second thing it does is to help the sperm to swim fast. So if you are a woman and you are not seeing your cervical mucus, if you are always dry, you will notice it. Whenever you are having intercourse, you feel pains, you know, you will be feeling pain because that is 
God made everything uh, in a way that it will be balanced. When you are approaching your fertile days, the, the, the mucus will start. The first one, it will just be look it will look stretchy. Stretchy, you'll be seeing it even if you don't pay attention. Sometimes if you go to pee, when you wipe yourself, you will see it. Some people thought it's normal. That thing is a sign. Look at yourself. Pay attention to yourself. You don't you I, I will not come to you and be monitoring you when you are the one that's supposed to see it. If you have not been doing it from today, anytime your menstruation starts, start monitoring this thing. When you go, if you enter your fertile days, if you go to the toilet to pee, you will see. You will see it. The first stage will be it have about two stage, two to three stage. The first stage you will see something like milk. It it will not be drawing. Then when you enter your during this 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 period is infertile days. You are not fertile. But when it's approaching to fertile days, it will start stretching, but not so stretchy. Then when you want to enter your ovulation, go, go, let me use Nigerian language. When you want to enter your ovulation, go, go, you will see it, it will be slippery. When you touch it, I have showed you people the other day. You know how egg white is. When you draw it, it will look slippery. That is when ovulation is about to happen but before ovulation which is your fertile days that you can still get pregnant even i advise people to start making love on their fertile days start depositing enough sperm there so that you will not find it difficult people who always wait on the ovulation day please stop it sometimes you might not even know where the ovulation happened but if you deposit something there once the egg drop, the, the sperm will grab it. So that is number one sign that will tell you that your body is fertile for conception or pregnancy. The next time, the next sign, this thing is similar to what do you call it? Signs of ovulation. You will have tender breasts. Watch yourself. If you have not been doing it, start doing it today. Um, rejoice brown please like uh, whenever i'm teaching you don't ask question when i'm when i'm done i always give opportunity for question if you ask me a question now and i start answering you you'll be i'll be distracted i will not know where i stop when i finish you can ask that question again i'm not going to read the question like you see i've not been greeting anybody because i'm teaching but once i'm done i will do that so and you are talking about this uh, fibroid. Go and watch the video. I've talked about everything about fibroid. If you are just joining me, just go through my page and you will see this fibroid issue you are asking. I've, I have said everything about fibroid. So, the, when, when, when ovulation or when ovulation is about to happen, because ovulation is a mighty thing, maybe I will show you people the video of ovulation how ovulation takes place i think i have i have i have shown this before let me show you people how how ovulation takes place ovulation is a mighty thing that when it happens uh your body must your mo your body must must see it your body must your body must notice it so um when your body when you are about to release egg when this egg is released the the ovulation happens through brain i just want you people i don't know if you can see this video this is how ovulation i'm not going to i'm not going to play the distance do you see this is woman's ovary now and it's time for ovulation this is what happens in your body every month. You see the small, small follicles, but the one that is going to be released today in this video is the matured egg. Esther, N. Esther, thank you for that wonderful star. I appreciate it. May God Almighty bless you. So, um, when you see, you see now, this is the video of ovulation, how ovulation takes place. Just be watching the video, uh, how ovulation takes place. The when the when you are approaching your 
fertile days the most fertile this is ovulation now you see it happens through brain that is what is called um true thyroid gland your thyroid your, your thyroid through the part of brain called hypertomia will go and signal what is called fsh to release egg so look at the egg coming out now this is ovulation look at the video see the egg is coming out from your ovary right now just watch the video so when the eggs are matured i don't know if you people can see this uh, this video when the eggs are matured in your circle the ovary will open and release look at it look at it it's preparing to come out look at the egg just be looking then later will continue then the egg is about to come out when it's released when this thing is happening to your system there must be a sign in your body there must be a signal either you have lower abnormal pain or you have a tender breast this is what brought me to this your breast will be tender you might not know what is happening to you you might think that uh, maybe you have some problem or something is happening but is the egg because the egg is about to happen. Look at the mighty things that does, that happens in human body. So now you see why I say that it is very, very important for you to make love on the, for you to have spam there. Why? Because if you have spam in your body and uh, the ovulation takes place, you see when the egg was releasing, what the uh, what the sperm will do immediately is just to grab the egg and fertilize it so but if you are the type of person please if you are joining me if you are watching this program share i want you people i want people to pro promise me that they will recommend at least 10 10 people to this page let them come and learn so um if you are waiting for the ovulation day to come before you start making love and um you know there is um, uh, other factors that can make you not to uh, conceive if your husband's spam is low if your husband have low spam count or the the the, the motility of the spam which means the movement of the spam is low and you are waiting for you and you are waiting for the ovulation day to happen now let's say the ovulation will take place today and you didn't make love today then or you make love that day that the egg is about to be released and this egg lasts only for 24 hours now your husband's sperm motility is low before the sperm will get there the egg might have died might have died and disintegrate you will never be pregnant but if you make it ahead the spam will go there and be waiting for the egg to be fertilized. You make it easier for yourself to get pregnant. So, uh, like I said before, the number one sign that your body is fertile to get pregnant is cervical mucus. Cervical mucus changes. If you are not seeing your cervical mucus, it's likely that you are not ovulating. And what should you do? you should go for test some people will ask me what can i use to balance my hormone which of your hormones do you want to balance you need to first of all know the hormone that is not balanced that is having problem before you know how to balance it and i told people several times not to be seeking help online always work together with your doctors the next thing is increase in cells derived is there any time in your circle that you always feel like baby dancing you always feel like making love that could be the sign of your ovulation or even when you enter your fertile days when your body becomes slippery you'll be feeling like having it please anytime you feel like having it know that something is about to ha happen go and have it in full sometimes some women feel warm Sometimes when you are about, when your body is fertile, you will feel warm. Every other person there may be feeling cold. You will say, hey, here is home. You know that something is about to happen. Another one is uh, cramping. 
some people have little cramping like my myself i experienced such you have you see how the egg was releasing sometimes with the push with the force of the egg coming out you might have a little cramping some people also have little spotting some people can be having high sensitivity smelling things when others are not smelling you will say so here is smelling somebody will tell you that here is not smelling these are the signs of these are the signs that tells you that your body is fertile to get pregnant now you can ask your question if you have a question please you can ask this person say please ma i did what you taught us concerning fibroid remedy after drinking the congo in two days i started seeing another period which which come so heavy with with fish man please ma, i need help don't i need help i really need help my husband is complaining so much i really want to have yes if if you anytime you have a discharge that is smelling fishy it's a sign of infection and the remedy i said it seems you people do not understand the best remedy is to avoid those food that i mentioned i know some people will go and make only that in and drink and be eating what they like to eat if you want your fibroid to be gone um totally you need to do avoid those food that i mentioned those food that i say you should not eat and you must do this up to six months if you have large fibroid so it's not something that when you drink today it will go tomorrow you need to avoid those foods that is the fastest way of uh, curing yourself from fibroid what you said you have fish smell fish smell um uh, simply means that there is an infection you need to treat it if you can balance yourself on that diet within six months the fibroid will dry on its own because the fibroid feed from estrogen so if you keep on eating all those estrogen rich food then the fibroid will not go but when you stop eating them the fibroid will shrink on its own with the mix of those things that i listed there so you only went and drank those things and you didn't do the food aspect of it Go and watch the video again. You will, uh, you will see the real thing that I said. I said it emphatically that is the food that can cure the fibroid um, very well and very fast. Not drinking, for example, you have fibroid, you go and drink coke, lick banana, eat meat. These things are high, rich in estrogen and you go and drink those it doesn't mean anything it doesn't mean anything it will never keep go the only way is to avoid change your lifestyle go and rewatch the video again and do the writing for the fish smell is a sign of infection so a sign of a yeast infection please go and treat the infection because infection is very dangerous it can block your tube if you have any infection please um lizzie kami lizzie kami is today is today your first day lizzie is today your first day if you if it is not your first day i will not be happy with you with this question you are asking is today your first day if it is not your first day please go and watch go and watch the video on how to calculate ovulation your circle from there you will know you say my half to eight day circle so please when is my fertile days and ovulation day is today your first day before i will answer you this question please if you have question ask ask question if you really want to know the day you are going to ovulate always use opk i don't know people in nigeria i uh, maybe the thing might be expensive but i don't think it's so expensive is there anybody in Nigeria here who have used OPK? How much do they sell it? If you are in the Western world, if you are in Europe, uh, OPK is not expensive. You can order them in online, Amazon. There is one they sell. There is one that is uh, 50 inside. You can buy the 50. There is one that is 10 inside. 
you can buy them and if you want to monitor your ovulation please always use two to three different types of ov ovulation kits for you to get um, maximum results this will help you because sometimes the, if you use the cheap one they might not give you accurate results some of them will tell you that you are ovulating why you are not ovulating so you have to use three for you to be please ma can someone take wash pumpkin leaf and green leaves during her of course of course of course it's a vegetable vegetable doesn't have any effect on you that is for people who do not have um a fibroid but if you're a normal person you can um if you don't have fibroid vegetable pumpkin seed is very very good especially for your husband it helps to boost sperm motility and sperm count and the pumpkin um uh, sorry pumpkin yeah pumpkin leaf will help to boost your husband's sperm and uh, it's also it's a vegetable vegetable is good because you derive a lot of um uh, vitamins from there please i've been taking omega 140 omega omega is good omega uh, fish fatty oil is good it supports implantation especially people who have hypothyroidism there, there was a video i posted the other day if you have hypothyroidism what does hypothyroidism mean that your thyroid gland is low and if it is low you are not ovulating in fact if you have any problem with your thyroid you will not be ovulating so what um and what causes this is low iodine so um you derive iron from eating fish that is uh, seafoods seafoods are very very good in your iron they also help in your eyes they also help in uh, implantation so omega fish oil or fatty oil they are very very good so if you are taking it very very good you will see that you will not develop eye problem and then um, your implantation vitamin e and omega-3 is very very good when it comes to support supporting your implantation please ask your question ask your question if somebody asks question here please you guys can also help we all are teachers like the person who asked about uh, her ovulation, I expected to see some people answering her. You can answer because if you have been following me by now, you should know how to calculate your ovulation. Please question, maybe by the grace of God, next week, if I have strength, we will start our prayer. My children, they are going to be on holiday, so it will be better for me. So we will start we we'll start our prayer and let it rain again. My please, someone that sees make discharge mostly before and after my period. What does what does that signify? Make discharge after your period. How long after your period? Who is this? Fervor Swinzy. How long after your period? How long after my how long after your period? Do you see this discharge? If it is 11 days after your period, it could be fertile days and depends on the type of discharge you see. How long after your period do you see this discharge? That is one thing you should be calculating. It's not all about seeing discharge. I told you, okay, let me use for example, somebody who has 28 day circle. I use 28 day circle because it's the normal circle. Now, if you have a 28 day circle your menstruation may last between uh, four to five days then sixth day seventh day eighth day you are infertile everywhere will be dry you will not be seeing in my, my next period of, what did, what was your question before after my period yes when you see uh, yes after your period so Wait, I'm coming. Let me demonstrate it. I will, I will clear you on this. I have understood what you mean. So, on the eighth day, you are an infertile. Nine, ten, eleven. Your body has become infertile. On the eleventh day, you will start seeing. Eleventh day is the real day. 
that your fertile day will start. If you don't want to have baby, please don't make love between 9 to 11th day because your body is becoming fertile and that is when you will start seeing this um this um signs this uh, mucus now she asks when after your ovulation like what uh fever swiss asked now she said why does she always see it okay um cheesy wait wait the problem you people have is that you will just come and be asking questions and i'll be asking your question you will not pay attention you will wait i will answer one another you have asked me three questions now you need to pay attention and since you have not been watching my videos so after ovulation that is the release of egg if the egg we are not able to fertilize if the egg is not fertilized which means you are not pregnant so when is time when is time for you to for your ovulation to come out you will start seeing another mucus which means the egg wasn't fertilized so the mucus you are seeing is normal for somebody who is not pregnant if you are pregnant you might not see any mucus again it will be dry or um apart from the one you will see on your implantation the light spotting or something that will look like pinkish discharge that is the one you will see on your implantation day but if the egg wasn't able to fertilize then when your period is i i i, I experienced that when your period is about to come two to three days before your period you start seeing something like discharge make it discharge if if i think i am right from what i'm saying you said you are 25 years old but you find it difficult to conceive simply you have problem you have problem either the problem you cause by yourself by not knowing your circle or knowing if you are ovulating or maybe the problem might be from your husband so these are the two things that is um classic class who is this so classic go and use opk if your circle is 28 days you will ovulate on the circle day 14 but go and use opk sometimes the ovulation doesn't happen on that 14th day of your circle so opk OPK will teach you the exact way, exact time to calculate your ovulation. So, any other question? I'm having a call here. It's supposed to end. Any other question? Somebody asked what is OPK. I'm not going to answer the question. Please, can you can you people tell, tell him or her? The meaning of OPK. I've been saying it here repeatedly. So, in the absence of any other question, we'll call it a day. Please share. Please share. Follow the page if you haven't. And invite as many people as you can. Uh, who gave Mr... Okay, Mr. Esther. Esther, thank you for that wonderful star you gave to me. May God bless you. May God bless you. So I need to receive this call. I need to receive call that is uh, coming now. 
see you again whenever i have time may god bless each and every one of you bye bye